everyone, this is Impulse and welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. Guys, I think today we finally will take a, a little bit of a break from doing the Wither Skull farm because I have been in the nether for way too long. Way too long. I need to get a break. I need a break. I need to get out of the nether. I don't want to hear a single guest today in this episode if possible. So yeah, let's do something else. Let's do something else. So today I owe two questions to Jarvis because I missed one in the last episode. So I figured we would just start things off with a question to Jarvis. And I've got one in mind here and it's simple. Jarvis, what should we do today? Ooh, clicked it, clicked it. Let's see if we get a piece of paper popping up somewhere. All right, no paper popped up, so I guess we are not doing anything, guys. Thank you. It was a great episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that. No, I'm just kidding. I will, uh, I'll do another one here. We'll press the button again. Oh, hopefully we get a piece of paper popping out this time. It was a uh, misfire on the last one, or maybe it's already out of ideas. I don't know. I hope not. Um, sometimes it did say the initial note that we got from Jarvis. There it is. Said it could take some time. Uh, try different blocks this time. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try different blocks, and actually, I think we will go ahead and follow Jarvis Jarvis's advice today, guys, because today, check this out. You saw this. You probably saw this in the opening. We got eight nether stars. Let's go ahead and turn them into beacons, and you you guys can do math. You can already see how many beacons we're going to end up with. We got ourselves a lot of beacons going on, thanks to our Wither Skull farm, so I think we should do something with them, and I've been complaining a lot lately about not having a, a lot of diamonds. I've been spending all my diamonds, you know, in the marketplace. I haven't really been making enough from selling books anymore. Well, mainly because we've done a terrible job of keeping them stocked. But I'm thinking maybe all these nice beacons that we have now, maybe we should try to make a profit off of them. So today, guys, that's what we're going to do. We're going to open up a beacon store, and I'm going to follow Jarvis's advice, I think. So let's go over to where we're going to get this going. Actually, you know what? Before we go, before we go, it's been a long time since I've been over here. And I noticed something coming through here. We've got stuff. We've got signs and stuff to read. Thank you for the awesome. Thank you for the awesome. End of sentence. Well, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> RD, Ren Dog. I think he's on right now. Yep. Um, look at this, guys. We've got ourselves 25 diamonds from Ren. And let's see what this says. Let's see why he gave us these diamonds. It says, Dear Impulse, for the first time in this season, I now understand and fully appreciate the mending book grind. I used your villager farm to get some mending books. Thank you. And uh, yeah, love Rand Dog. So he used my mending villager. He, he did some trading and he felt bad about just, you know, using them. And he left me some diamonds. So thank you. I appreciate that, Ren. That was very admirable of you and uh, honest and whatnot. So we've also got in our mailbox... Some diamonds in here, it's, it, but I this one I don't quite understand with this whole licensing with something of the past. Here is something from Iskol, though. Let's see what this says. It says, Space Books. Hi, fool. Well, let's just go ahead and uh, I'm not even going to read the rest at this point because he's already upset me. No, I guess we can read it. Fine. This is an announcement to let you know that the brand new Space Books has opened in the end, which only sell the best enchanted books in the game. And to very affordable prices. Make sure you stop by next time you need to uh, you need to enchant something. Please note we have the exclusive exclusivity. <laughs> that's a tough word for me to read anyway. On mending books. Uh-oh. And we will always have stock of these. So make sure you don't buy your mending books anywhere else as that would be against the hermit rules of conduct. Have a lovely day, space books. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to hang on to that for a second. Wow. Okay. So, Iskull's thinking he's going to try to corner the market on many books to the point to where I, I'm not even supposed to sell them at my own store. Um, okay, I'm going to have to see this. I'm, I, I've apparently missed out on a lot since I've been in the nether for the past couple weeks. I'm, I'm going to go check this out. I need to investigate right now. All right, so I guess this is the place. Here's this new bookstore. Now, I have, I've seen this before, I, I believe. I have seen this before. Is Skull's bookstore failing? 
I've seen this story. So I'm not exactly worried because, yeah, the last time in school you tried to sell books didn't work out for you, buddy. Didn't work out at all. So let's see what he's got here. Now, the Fortune Silk Touch, the Unbreaking, pretty good prices, pretty good prices. In fact, I'm going to just go ahead and take a screenshot of that right now, make sure that we're competing at least. But four diamonds for mending, I, I think that's what I charge now, if I'm not mistaken. So, and you're supposed to come over here and pay, uh, pick your book, and then, I don't know. I don't know how this is supposed to work. See, why even bother when you could just grab one from here and go? Why, why even bother? <laughs> no, I won't, I won't. But, uh, yeah, apparently, apparently that's, that's what's happening here is, uh, his skull has decided to open up another bookstore that is, I'm sure, gonna gonna fail because everybody's just gonna forget that it's even here. And anyway, um, so yeah, guys, we are going to give some love to our bookstore today as well. So yeah, he can't stop us. He can try, but it's not gonna happen because I'm pretty sure people are still gonna buy from me. So we'll find out. We'll find out. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna go over into the Brown District, into the marketplace. And we're going to do a little upgrade, a little bit of upgrading to the shop today. Uh, because not only are we going to sell books, we're going to sell beacons also. How cool is this, by the way? How cool is this? Cub fan got rid of all the pillars in the end and um, attempted to hide the portal, which I guess hasn't fooled anybody. Even even Mumbo found his way out. So, yeah, that, that, that obviously didn't work. <laughs> anyway, guys, all right, let me get some stuff together, and we're going to get on over to the iBooks store and give it a little bit of love today. All right, we've arrived here at iBooks, and I have not been here in a long time. And it looks like some uh, landscaping is has been done, and some overgrowth has happened. <laughs> looks pretty good, looks pretty good. And inside, we have something waiting for us. Let's take a look and see what this could be. Super Business by Iskol, of course. Here we go. Dear owners of iBooks, Cub Fan and Impulse, hi. I want to offer iBooks the exclusive right to become partnered with the new Space Books, a local bookstore where the enchanted books are where enchanted books are needed the most in the space station at the end. Contact me if interested. I'm only looking for a small commission to give this amazing business opportunity and exclusivity. Exclusivity, there's that word again, to you, Iskol. Well, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, he didn't he didn't wait long, did he, before he uh, accepted offers from other people. Not that I would have said yes, I definitely would have said no anyway. But uh, yeah, yeah, I guess uh, he's he gave that same offer to Mumbo. I'm I'm assuming, and Mumbo took him up on it. <laughs> I've been away for a while. What can I say? But yeah, I was gonna say no anyway. So anyway, guys, I am ready to get restocking here. Look at this, mending books, three diamonds each. Why why would people pay more? Silk Touch, two. Unbreaking, two. Everything's two. Looting, two. Two. He can't, he can't compete with these prices. He, as you saw, he's charging more than I do for most of the stuff. Clearance books, dollar, or dollar, <laughs> diamond each. Um, yeah, we've got most of the good books have t been taken, but that's all right, because we're going to do some restocking today, guys. Um, many books, let's see, completely empty, as I figured. I have some more. Let's just, let's just put some more in here. I'll let the people know. I'll let them know. I'll let all the hermits know. Guys, you don't need to go spend four diamonds for mending books when you can get them for three at iBooks. And then, of course, um, I have a bunch of books, random books, from fishing. And a lot of these are really good books. So, I mean, a lot of them you can get, like, efficiency four for one diamond if you just don't mind sifting through some of these chests. I mean, let's take a look here. Um, Unbreaking three, I think I saw on that one, so you can get that cheaper over here. Uh, efficiency three, you can get two to combine them and still, there you go, look at this book, jeez. Efficiency four, sharpness four, Unbreaking three, it's got a lot of good stuff. So yeah, infinity, another infinity. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't I don't know why anybody wouldn't just pick through the, uh, the clearance rack over here. You know, take a little bit of time, save yourself some diamonds, and you're good to go. So there we go, guys. This is getting restocked. Tell the hermits. Tell the hermits. iBooks is getting restocked. There's no reason to shop anywhere else. And I can't be stopped. I can't be stopped. <laughs> I 
So, all right, cool. I'm going to finish refilling. I got a, another couple shulker boxes worth of uh, these books here. I'm going to get this thing filled up. Oh, I don't guess I don't need to put his space books in there. Well, maybe if somebody buys that for a diamond, uh, that'd be pretty funny. But anyway, okay. Yeah, let me get this restocked. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Much better. These are fully stocked now. I need to do some individual trades with these guys. It looks like Looting 3 was popular. Unbreaking 3 was popular. Silk Touch was popular. So I'll probably do some individual trades for those books. Uh, but right now, those are available in the, uh, the clearance rack back there. So... Uh, I got a little bit of time before I need to do that. So I think what I'll do here is I have never done anything with this side of the store. I think this is where I will put the beacons for sale. So I, not that I'm going to need this big wall of space. I probably only need just one one chest for, for beacons, especially right now since I only have 11. I'm still trying to decide on what to charge. I think I'm going to start low, see if they sell out quick, and then I'll raise the price if needed. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So I'm kind of thinking 16 diamonds per beacon. Uh, they're really not that hard for me to get now, and I can just AFK for them at my Wither Skull farm. So that's not too bad. But I do need to kind of change the look of this place to make it known that this is now a book and beacon shop. And we'll probably probably rename it maybe from iBooks to uh, Books and Beacons or Beacons and Books. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Um, iBooks and Beacons. How about that? We can keep the iBooks in there. But yeah, I think up here, first of all, I don't have an axe on me. Somehow Tango ended up with my axe after the last live stream because I died and yeah, bad stuff happened with evokers. If you guys didn't see that, check out the uh, the live stream replay. Replay. I'll put a link in the description. We had a lot of fun messing with with evokers the other day. Uh, but anyway, I think what I'll do here is I want to actually give a nice visual. So I'm going to put this down. This is going to be like my my model here. I want to actually make a large beacon. And I'm going to take down this gold eye here. Just kind of a large beacon floating in the middle of this room. Because you can see this place kind of already looks like a beacon in a way. It's got the glass exterior to it with this box around it. So really what I need to do is just kind of put the inside. So it looks like a lot of obsidian. And unfortunately, this color here reminds me of diamonds. And this color here reminds me of quartz. So pretty expensive little display case here, but uh, we're going to get it going anyway. So let me go gather some stuff and we will get building this thing. All right. So I've collected some materials here so that we can get this thing built. And let me show you what I've got. I think these are going to work out just fine. You can see it's got an obsidian base and then I'll use these quartz in the middle and some diamonds for the outside. Hopefully I have enough diamonds. This thing is not going to be too big. I'm going to make it inside the glass here. So I figured the, the base of it, the obsidian base, will be about 9 by 9 and then the cube itself will be uh, 7 by 7 and we'll go all the way up. Hopefully that looks good. We'll build it and find out. But I think what I'll do now is I'll put a camera account on so you guys can watch me build it. It should be fun to watch and uh, I'll put a little music to it and that kind of thing. So here we go. Okay, so I think I underestimated how many diamond blocks this thing was going to take. I think it's like 36 or so. I didn't count, but somewhere in there. Or 30... Yeah, 36. I think I had 40 blocks on me. So, wow. <laughs> I was only able to do like the front face of it. So now this looks pretty, um, pretty weird from the other sides. I am going to need to get some diamonds quick so hopefully we can make them and finish building this thing out i knew i had spent way too many diamonds uh in the past i don't know a couple months just i haven't been making any profit from this place okay well i did restock this yesterday let's see okay there we go that'll help that'll help a little bit we've already sold some mending books and i have yet to stock some of these other ones oh let's see if any of these have sold yeah so obviously oh nice obviously 
we were people were waiting for some books i didn't even advertise that this place was restocked so that's that's a good deal there so okay so we're we're gonna have to slowly but surely finish this beacon out with diamond blocks and uh it's gonna look good when it's done it does look a little odd right now only being partially done but that's okay i think the other thing we need to do is actually make it look like a beacon and have you know actual beams coming out of the top now we got them in the corners but i'm going to put more in there as well i think so let's go ahead and do that they're not going to be functioning just like these ones aren't really functioning so i only need a three by three underneath them but i'm gonna have to use some of my beacons to make that happen let's see how many blocks did we just get i didn't do the math <laughs> they go quick let's see i got all my stuff still over here and yeah three more blocks ouch um so yeah it's gonna take quite a few diamonds to get this place going and then i'm gonna be completely broke well i guess i already am from doing this but i think i can't really think of another texture that would look as good as these diamonds do but look you can't even finish like <laughs> a whole row here <laughs> oh that's pretty sad that is really sad oh anyway okay well let me get the beacons put in and see how it looks after that all right there we go it's got a huge beam it's actually five beacons up there which unfortunately only leaves me with six beacons left <laughs> but we can grind and get some more no problem at the wither skull farm but let's go ahead and put our final six beacons for sale here let's just come down here i think what i need to do is first i'll put a sign kind of down here and we will i guess just put it i don't want it to be set back but let's say um books are this way and beacons are this way did i get that right one more no nope, that looks good okay <laughs> so if they want books they go to the left if they want beacons they go to the right let's take a look and see how we did this we put these uh signs on the bookshelves below the chest so that's what we need to do say what it is beacons i think what we'll do is we will sell the beacons for did i make those chests face oh that's because they were double chests i guess we won't need a double chest at least not yet um, so we'll say beacons are and we're gonna make them somewhat cheap like i said see how fast they go 16 diamonds each there we go and hoping these sell out quickly so there we go let's just do this let's spread them out so it looks like we have a little more than we do and they can place their 16 diamonds in the spot of the beacon there and i will just have to let the hermits know i want to get this done guys i don't want to leave i don't want to leave this unfinished for this video but that is a lot of diamonds i have yet to go so what i will do is you can see i put in at least the quartz so it doesn't look as bad i've put in the quartz design uh, but we need to fill in the other diamonds and um yeah a lot missing still so what i'll do is i'm gonna actually go branch mining something i haven't done on this season at all maybe not branch mining but i'll get a haste 2 beacon in fact i may have to re i may have to borrow one of these beacons back <laughs> we'll we'll borrow one of these beacons back so i can put down a haste beacon and we can do some quick mining and hopefully i can get some diamonds that way and we will be able to f either finish this thing up or at least at the very least i want to get the sides done because it looks pretty bad without the sides the back maybe i can leave open for now not a lot of people approach this from the back or walk around to the back um, so that one might be able to get away with so i just need enough to finish up the sides so all right i'm gonna go do a whole bunch of digging and hopefully get enough diamonds to finish the sides off wish me luck and that was a lot of digging and we almost got a whole wall done here so the front's completely done this side's almost done only missing five diamond blocks from there which hopefully we will get soon enough but that is enough digging for me my pickaxes can't take much more and i am unfortunately low on time to finish this episode out but it is looking good it is looking good i'm hoping that the profits that we get from selling the beacons and getting the books back in stock will help us finish off the the diamond blocks needed to make that beacon complete so look at this guys i mean we have sold so many mending books just in the course of making this episode so that's a good sign that mending books are still in high demand i just need to get make sure this thing stays stocked and get some of these other ones stocked as well as get new clearance items in as well to get some business drawn in here and hopefully they will be interested in buying some beacons as well and i'll be able to stock this up with some more beacons as i spend some time at the wither scully farm 
So those beacons will just turn around and use as decorations to finish up this, the shop here, the, the outside. And then after that, it will be all profit into my pockets. Well, I guess I could share the, uh, the books with Cub Fan. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to do it for me today, guys. I had a lot of fun. This, of course, took a lot longer than I thought it would. I didn't realize I was going to have to do so much grinding for quartz and diamonds and stuff. But it's a lot of fun, and I can't wait to sell some of these beacons and get rich all over again. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe before you go. And with that said, see you guys again next time. Have a good one, everyone.